live on the ground from Galvanize San Francisco, it's theCUBE, covering Amplify Women's Pitch Night. Now, here's Jeff Frick. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown San Francisco at Galvanize at the Girls in Tech uh, female founder of Pitch Night called Amplify. We're coming down, we're getting to hear all these great new entrepreneurial ideas and people are trying to get some money. There's VCs in the room and, and uh, so there's real business getting done here. So we're really excited. Our next guest is Becky Jaimez, the founder of Pace Match. So first off, welcome. Thank you, welcome, thank you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, so Pace Match, what is Pace Match? Pacematch is a tool, is a place where more than 10,000 athletes have discovered other athletes that run at their same pace on their same routes. Ten, and 10,000 athletes are already there. Yes. And you said you started Actually this 11, not that long ago. No, just a couple months. I'm super stoked. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the idea is I'm looking for a workout partner. I need, I want to find somebody that kind of goes at my pace and I assume you use APIs from Fitbits or something like that to get all that data into the system. Yes, exactly. Right now we are, uh, yeah, the, the back end is said that we can ingest data from any API, as you said, Fitbit or Nike Plus or RunKeeper. But right now we're focusing on acquiring Strava users and then we'll move on on the other ones. But yes, the back end is open to take data from any of the other APIs. And, and you mentioned before we turned on the cameras, it's not only the pace, but it's also the, the routes. routes. Exactly, and that's what is so cool about it, that if I am a person that likes to run in the marine headlands, and I run 10 minute miles constantly over there, I can find people that run exactly 10 minute miles and that run in the exact same path that I run. That's, that's kind of like the cool thing about it. Because sometimes you find people that match your speed, but they like to run in the city or people that like to run in the same trail, but they were faster than me. So right, that was right. a problem that I was trying to solve. Find that, per because you can see the people, but you just don't know how to meet them. And, and I'm not a runner, so mm -hmm. um, then do people, is that become you know kind of a regular thing? Do people want new people to run with all the time as for variety? I mean, how does it kind of work on the social? the social side of it. Yeah, so this, the, one of the reasons I really like running was the social aspect of it, right? The community around it. But it was it was kind of difficult every time I moved. The only way that I could to, that, that I was able to find other runners was by lo uh, joining local running clubs or yeah, signing up for local races. But it was very difficult to find that person that matched my profile, you know, right. that like running on the same path and the same speed. One time I remember I lived in a little town that they didn't have a local running club. And I went as far as going into Craigslist to try to find a running partner there. It was a little bit creepy. Are you just that fast or what? Well, no, I'm actually, <laughs> the, what, is, what is kind of funny, when you mentioned that is that I'm very average. I'm not. I'm not that fast. If you're fast, it's really easy for you to find people to run with. Because if you're fast, you can run slower with no problem. But if you're not that fast, you have a lot of problem trying to find people because the the group of runners is much much smaller. You know, like the people that are able to run at your same speed right. is much smaller. So uh, yeah, that was the problem I was trying to solve. Trying to find the people that were able to run at the same pace on the same path. And then do you have, do you integrate with their the running apps themselves? Yes. Um, is that part of your value proposition or is it really just kind of the connection? Yeah, so it is It is part of, so th So I don't, my pace match is not an app that you can use when you go for a run to track your runs. It aggregates the data from all these different tools because there's already a couple of tools that do that and they do it very well. Okay. So I thought, why to build another one of those? First right. of all, I couldn't, right. I don't think. And it already is done and it's done very, very beautifully. For example, Strava is a beautiful app. It tracks your location, your speed, everything. So I'm not going to build another tool like that. What is really cool is like to add more value to it. You right. know, it's kind of like, and also there's the beauty of aggregating data from all these different portals because yeah, so Strava is doing it. They're, they're catering to a particular type of athlete. And then there's another type of tool, for example, Nike Plus, it caters to a different type of athlete. But what happens if we aggregate all these runners and put them in the same bucket and try to find those runners that match your exact same profile, you have better chances. Right, and how do you make money? So right now it's a free tool. Right, right. Um, we're, 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 you better have a revenue plan when you're pitching downstairs, so, I assume. So, so right now, PaceMatch is a free tool where we continue to acquire more users. But we're working, we're going to have a premium model. So right now it's premium. You can log in and you can preview your matches. Okay. But we're about to release a couple of new features with V1. One is a button where you can actually organize runs with the people that match your profile. 
And another one is a route recommendation engine. So if so for other people that have your profile but they run in different places but are near where you are, it shows you different routes so that you can get those. Those we're hoping to add them maybe into a premium model so okay. that way have some sort of revenue coming right. in. No, that's good. Premium is a pretty pretty uh, standard way to do it these days. Mm -hmm. And I'm just curious on the concentration. You said you just hit 12,000 people. Congratulations. 11,000. 11, is How many cities is that? Or is it mainly... They're all around the world. They're mostly centered in big metropolitan areas. San Francisco, New York, and London. Okay. But they're everywhere. Okay. I have... Because how many do you need in a, in a geography to kind of make it work so I can find a match? Yeah, so that is what is really interesting. And that's one of the barriers of entry. If someone wants to build something similar, people have tried in the past, but to build a recommendation engine without data is very, very challenging. So, yeah, originally we wanted to just launch in Marin County. You know, like we wanted to narrow it down very, very, very closely and just focus in one area so that I can get all the runners that run in the same path, right, basically. Right. But it just blew out and like suddenly I got 11,000 athletes and there's everybody, 90% uh, of the runners that have logged in and that have run in the past three months or five months, 90% um, of them do get a match when you log in. And then they just opt in to, to enable their device to connect to your system. Yes, exactly. Awesome. All right, Becky, so where can people learn more? Give a little uh, pitch to the audience that I need to find a runner. Yes, go to pacematch.com. We are very excited also to announce today that we opened the beta for cyclists as well. So if you are a runner or a cyclist and you want to at least check out who are those people that match your profile, head over to pacematch.com and I'll see you there. All right, and the really good runners can get together with a really slow bicyclist, I guess. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Becky Heim is, uh Pace match. Check it out. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching The Cube from downtown San Francisco, Galvanize.